Hello students, word problems involving quadratic equations are often very challenging. Here we have one such example. A plane left 60 minutes later than its scheduled time. In order to reach the destination 600 kilometers away on time, it flew 50 kilometers per hour faster compared to the usual speed. Find its usual speed is the question. Now, the difficult part in many such questions is how to formulate the equation. So, let's do this step by step. What we are given is there are two points A and B which are 600 kilometers apart. Okay. Now, what we know is that there is a plane that's going to fly from A to B usually. Now, suppose the usual speed is x kilometers per hour. Now, we know that speed equals distance by time. That means time is distance by speed. If you know the distance and if you know the speed, we can say that the time taken to cover the 600 kilometer with the usual speed is 600 by x because distance by speed. Okay, This is what happens normally. Now, when the plane is delayed, what happens? Well, it is going to fly faster. That's what is given. How much faster? Well, it's going to fly at the speed of x plus 50. Normal speed is x. Now, it's 50 kilometers per hour faster. Okay. Now, at this speed, what is going to be the time taken to cover the same thing? It's going to go faster and the time taken is 600 by x plus 50. Okay. So, why did we find these two times? Because we know that the plane is 60 minutes delayed. That means one hour delayed, but it reaches the destination on time. That means what? The total time is the same. So, that means this 600 by x okay, and 600 by x plus 50 are related. What is the difference? The difference is simply 1 hour. So, we can say that 600 by x is 600 by x plus 50 plus 1. Okay? This is the time taken when it is flying faster. But because of the delay of 1 hour, this is the total time. But that's the same as the usual because it reaches the destination on time. So, this is how we formulate the equation and this is the tough part many times, right? Now, after this, we have to simplify this and we get 600 by x minus 600 by x plus 50 equals 1, which means 600 into x plus 50 minus x by this equals 1. This is just taking LCM. So, this gives us this equation and if you cross multiply, you are going to get 30,000 equals x squared plus 50x, which means x squared plus 50x minus 30,000 equals 0. So, let us quickly see what all we have done so far. We have taken the usual speed as x, this speed as x plus 50. From this equation, we got this quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Now, we know that the solution to this equation is x equals minus b plus or minus root b square minus 4ac the whole by 2a. Now, what are the a, b, c here? a is 1, b is 50 and c is minus 30,000. Now, let us plug in these values and we will get x equals minus 50 plus or minus root 50 square minus 4 into 1. So, we just ignored it into minus 30,000 the whole divided by 2. If you simplify, you get inside the root 50 square is 2500 minus 4 into minus 30,000 is plus 120,000. So, this again simplifies to root of 122500. Now, this is easy to calculate. 10 can be taken out. 1225 square root is 35. So, overall you are going to get minus 50 plus or minus 350 the whole by 2. This is what is x. Now, there are two possible values minus 50 plus 350 by 2 and minus 50 minus 350 by 2. But remember, what is x? x is the usual speed of the plane. Speed cannot be negative. So, we can say this is not okay. So, that means this is the only possible option. So, this gives us 350 minus 50 is 300 by 2, which gives us 150 as the value of x. That means what? The usual speed of the plane is 
150 kilometers per hour which is what we were asked to find.